One change for Rangers, Tori Andrew Flo returns after illness and injury, having missed the last two games. Claudio Kinesia drops out of the starting 11. 21-year-old winger Peter Lovenkrantz gets another chance to show he's ready to claim a regular place. Shota Avaladze is an automatic choice. 14 goals in 19 games explains why. Hibs stick with the team which lost 4-3 at home to Aberdeen in midweek. They'll hope the little and large combination of 10-goal Paco Luna and the tank Eduardo Hurtado can ruffle the Rangers' defence. Luis de la Cruz was a star in attack at Easter Road on Wednesday. He won't want to fall down again, though, on his defensive duties. And John Robotham is the referee for Rangers against Hibs. These two of reaching the fourth round of the Tenant Scottish Cup, both requiring replays against second division opposition. Rangers came through eventually against Berwick last Monday night, by three goals to nil, and Hibbs eventually overcame Stranraer 4 0 the one at Easter Road after being held to a goalless draw at Stair Park. He's familiar with the away duckout at Ibrox, but still trying to familiarise himself with the home territory his 10th match in charge of Rangers, Alec McLeish Rickson Arbeladze in behind him chance for an early crack at goal shot to Arbeladze, deflected off Townsley and the first corner kick of the match, 90 seconds in. Doesn't need too much encouragement, the former Ajax star, to have a go. That he did. Nick Colgan in the Ibrox rain with a big figure of Flo in front of them. In the swinging corner kick, and immediately the first effort on goal and Amoruso has been in good goal scoring form two this week already one up at Pataudry which won the game the one which got them going against Berwick and he was a big threat in the cup tie against Hibbs Conterman again the ball sticking on a sticky surface Ferguson clipped over the top it runs for Lovenkrantz not far away and almost a fatal misjudgment there by Ian Murray. He thought his header would flick it wide, but it set up Lovenkrantz, and it was a pile driver, and just a few feet off target as Nick Colgan was clawing the air. There was Murray's mistake, almost punished. But Conterman's measured pass to the feet of Flo. Rickson on the overlap. is available Tansley tries to shut him down and corner kick the outcome did well there Derek Tansley under a bit of pressure corner taken already Rickson's cross took a little deflection that makes it problematic and a header from Flo held by Colgan didn't get an awful lot of power behind that Tory Andrew Flo and in the end it was a Fairly comfortable take for Colgan. He may have changed clubs recently, but he still scribbles on the touchline, making notes for any comments he wants to make at half time, any comments he hasn't screened in the meantime. Bunterman to float. Away from Fennec. Put him off Jack as well. Foul given against the German midfielder. Rickson, De Boer, wonderful effort from Ronald De Boer, looks to be in prime form at the moment, two goals at Dunfermline in midweek to turn the match Rangers way, and this one pretty close to curling into that top corner, wonderful first touch to cushion the ball, then the turn away, just about midway through the first half. Rangers look for the breakthrough. Rickson stepped over by Abeladze. And Tori Andre Flo marks his comeback with the opening goal. His 20th goal of the season. 
Rangers ahead. Almost exactly at the midpoint of the half. And a very calm and clinical finish from Flo. Set up by Rickson and the dummy from Arvaladza. And Hibbs wanted to be a little bit tighter there on Flo. You don't give him chances like that. It's 1-0. was gone for him this was a great opportunity for Hurtado to crash in a shot on Stefan Kloss and Soze less than happy Slipping behind Amoruso. At the other end, Avaladza. Good efforts. And walks wide by Colgan. He had it covered with the head keeper and he was across his left hand post. And just made sure that this one wasn't going to hit the target. So it's 2 1 for Rangers, but Ali McLeish conscious of the fact that uh, the lead is still fragile the goal gets it back from Flo releases Lovenkrantz and that was an important header for Paul Fennick to win because Tori Andrew Flo was moving in behind waiting in the middle of Russo and Moore among others Lovenkrantz with the short corner Team 
minutes into the second half. Amoruso made his presence felt. Tony Bidmar had to go on it. And the last touch was from Flo, who takes his season's tally to 21. Jack to Larson. Reardon. Almost a chance for the teenager. Here's another teenager who might have an opportunity. Gary O'Connor. Good effort. And good save by Stefan Kloss. That's what he's so valuable to Rangers. He hasn't had an awful lot to do in this match. But he's alive to this. And it was going in at the post until the German keeper flung himself across to keep the score 3-1. Get back from Tori Andre Flo, it was won by Jack and now Arpino. Flo to Arvaladza on sides. Can't believe he missed. He's been a superb finisher for Rangers since signing for Ajax. And you would have put an awful lot of your hard end on this, ending up in the back of the net. Had to squeeze it in off the outside of his right foot and squeezed it wide. Dodds to Avladza. Well won by Uli Larson. And he was then fouled by the Georgia. Larson got the better of. There was a little push and a little trip and uh, Larson went down pretty heavily, touching his shoulder. Well, big problems for Larson and big problems for Hibbs, having used three substitutes already. So, down to ten men. Robin Krantz. Little old burst of pace, Tori Andre Flo. Arvalanza in the gap where Larison was. And almost number four for Rangers. Flo was just a push get away from getting a touch on that one, which would have given him a hat trick. And the match is over for Larison. And this will be one player short for the rest of the game. opportunities under Alec McLeish that he didn't get under the management of Dick Advocats and fortunate here to get two bites might well have been cleared there by the combination of Smith and Dick Cruz they got themselves in a real old fankle and you don't give Billy Dodds a second chance there's a touch off Colligan's hand a touch off the inside of the post but in it went for 4-1 Rangers again, finding himself in some room behind the main strikers two for Avalanche back from Robin Kranz brilliant strike and it took a very good save from Nick Colgan to keep this out Robin Kranz has scored right at the end of the first half pretty close to getting another one Ferguson for Robin Kranz Cruz all the way with him. Full time at Ibrox. Rangers through. A handshake there between Alec McQuish and Frank Sosi. And in the end for Rangers it was all very comfortable. In front of a crowd of just over 25,000. That's got to be a disappointment. Even allowing for Hibbs not taking up their full allocation. Tori Andrew Flo scored twice. Peter Lovengrant got the, the all-important goal really for Rangers right at the end of the first half and Billy Dodds got Rangers.